high school, good humor They say I'm out of my mind Standing on the outside But it's cooler, it's fresher I like me here Hi guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and kind of unveiling of my newest purchase and it's the Gucci Small um, Marmont Leather Shoulder Bag. So um, I've been eyeing this bag for a really long time. I've watched a lot of reviews on it. I was trying to decide between the kind of white or off-white color and the dusty rose color. Um, but I decided to go with this color instead. I'm really, really happy about my purchase and I'm really excited to show you guys um, my newest addition to my handbag collection and kind of give you guys an overview of some of the things that can fit in the bag. Um, I'll give some mod shots and then um, just my general overview of the style of the bag. So let's get right into it. So this is the dust bag that it came in. I did purchase this from Nordstrom so I don't really have like an unboxing um, type of deal to give you guys which is why I'm just going to call, call this an unveiling. Um, but this is the dust bag and when you open it up you will see my first Gucci bag ever and I'm really really excited about it. Um, I used to not really be a fan of the Gucci line um, because at one point I just felt like a lot of people were trying to play it out. This is a very um, sought after uh, luxe line now and um, I never really gave their handbags a chance. I've always been you know such a big Louis Vuitton lover and now that my collection is expanding so much I kind of want to drift into um, you know Givenchy, uh, Gucci, um, maybe a couple more Chanel bags here and there. So just a general overview, you do have um, the double, you know, the Gucci logo um, hardware here in the front. And it is not a, um, like, pull and open. Actually, there's a little, um, I guess, lip here that you actually push up on and it opens like so. And as you can tell, this really does remind me a lot of a Chanel handbag. Um, I think this is probably more close to the medium large um, rather than the classic, maybe even the jumbo size. But I really like how um, the flap kind of opens up similar to a Chanel. So I think that's another thing that really drew me to this handbag. Um, there is no double flap. There is no zipper here on the top like you would see in a Chanel. It's just the flat leather. And then on the inside, um, you don't have any pockets or anything, um, it's just the one zipper here in the back and it doesn't, um, honestly I, I don't really find myself using it too much, um, it's, it fits probably just enough for like a couple feminine products in the back. Another thing about the inside, it's uh, like a suede um, nude like blush which I think is really really gorgeous. Um, I don't really worry too much about color transfer there either. This is probably the only bag that I can put my Agenda PM and not be worried about. Um, but there are no pockets for like cell phone or compact or lip gloss. It's just a single zipper in the back. And um, what's in this zipper? I have a couple items. So of course I have the little Gucci card similar to the Louis Vuitton one. And then I have the little... Um, booklet that tells you about, you know, caring for your product and um, how to clean it and things like that. So I will be keeping these items in the bag. Um, I do that in all of my handbags, Louis Vuitton, my Givenchy, things like that. Um, I don't know why, it's just habit. And then the tag uh, here in the bag with the color and things like that. As far as the exterior, I really love the lining. I'm not sure if you can actually see the pattern, but I like how the stitching kind of gives it like its own design rather than it just being the flat, you know, cream uh, color. And then on the back, you have the, uh, the pattern continuing and then you have this really cute heart in the back. So um, I know some people thought it was kind of childish or, or something like that, but I think that really makes this bag um, very beautiful and I think it gives it a lot of character. So um, I, I really like the stitching and the patterns that it has. And the color is not white, it is um, mystic white. So the picture actually made this bag look like it was a pure white leather handbag, but it is more of like a off-white, maybe like a, um, almost like a cream. And the hardware is not a true uh, gold. It looks more brassy, which I really, really like. I think it goes really well with the leather color. 
So this does kind of resemble um, my Chanel double flap handbag and I wish I wouldn't have sold it just yet. I did sell my handbag on Tradesy. Um, I really want to do a side to side uh, kind of comparison and review of the two together. Um, but I will have another Chanel purchase coming soon. So I'm excited to do that for you guys instead. Um, so just to give you an idea of the measurements of the bag. So it's 10 inches in width, 6 inches in height, and 3 inches in depth. So 10 inches here, 6 inches tall, and then the depth is about 3 inches. So in case you can't really tell, this is um, actually a really good size shoulder and crossbody handbag. I think it's going to fit um, a lot of the things that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe even a little more. You do have the double strap. Um, I guess like brassy hardware. It is a 12 inch drop when it's um, double looped. And then if you just do it cross body, then it is a 21 inch um, drop from the top of the handle to the top of the bag. Um, this is only about uh, one and a half pounds. So another thing that I really like about this bag is it's not heavy. So when you put your things in it, you don't feel like you're you know, lugging things on your shoulder trying to uh, wear this bag. That's one of the things that really turned me off to some handbags if they're naturally heavy empty I find myself not really grabbing for them as much because um, Just the discomfort that comes with putting the items that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis And now more than ever I carry way less in my handbag now. It's more so Essentials and things that I actually grab for so that's why I'm kind of drifting more to the smaller handbags like crossbody or smaller shoulder bags like this um, so in terms of functionality, um, I haven't got to really wear this bag yet, um, but one thing that was an immediate concern for me, and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking it, is about the um, color transfer. So the issue of color transfer is one of the reasons why I don't have a Damier Azor Louis Vuitton bag at all. Um, I've just heard a lot of people say that if, it's, if they wear it on the crook of their arm, it rubs on their denim, or uh, they have a coat or a blazer on. So I know this will be a concern with this type of handbag. But when it comes to my luxury items, I find myself being very, very careful when I do wear them. So this won't be a bag that I wear if I know it's going to rain, or um, I won't wear it crossbody if I have like black denim uh, jeans on. So I think that when you get a bag that is as light as a color as this, um, not just to be more conscious when you are wearing certain outfits and um, kind of wear your bag in accordance to what you're wearing. Um, when it comes to luxury purchases like this, um, I was trying to decide between this and the Dusty Rose, um, but I think that I can wear this um, a lot with a lot more um, color, like outfits and a lot more styles just because it's more of a neutral color. I think the Dusty Rose is absolutely beautiful, um, but uh, the only thing that was deterring me from this color was only because of my fear of color transfer, and I think that if you... Um, are responsible enough with when you wear your handbags and certain clothes that you pair them with, then you can still enjoy, you know, more neutral colors like this without having to worry about that color transfer. So as far as pricing, this bag currently retails for $1,980 US dollars. Um, there are different sizes, so you have the super mini, um, which I had my eye on at first, um, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a purchase I make. If I do, it'll probably be like the velvet Gucci Marmont super mini. And honestly, it's probably like half the the height of this bag and width of this bag. Um, but you have that, and you also have the Gucci Marmont camera bag, which is currently on my wish list. I'm hoping to get that here in the next couple months. I actually have a, my sister actually works at Saks, so I'm hoping to take advantage of her lovely little discount so I can add to my Gucci collection. So that is pretty much the overview and um, what's on the inside, outside, and what the back of the bag looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys some of the items that can or cannot fit inside and then I'll go through a couple mod shots and things like that. Okay guys, so I have the bag laying here flat. I've got a couple wallet sizes and things that I keep in my handbag on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to go through with you guys and show you some of the things that I can uh, fit in here um, currently. So first, I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and again, um, if you couldn't see, it is a push-button uh, enclosure here, so rather than just opening the flap, you do have to push down on this little button here, and it snaps open just fine. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to take this stuffing out, and in case you guys couldn't see when I was sitting down, 
there is only the uh, back zipped pocket here and no other pockets on the inside. It is just, uh, you know, just the, the main pocket here. Okay, so I have my handbag that I'm currently using, which is my Louis Vuitton Damier Abine uh, Alma BB. So I'm going to be taking some of the things that I carry in here currently and transferring it over into the Gucci Marma. So first things first, let's see if my insulate wallet can fit in there. This is my Louis Vuitton insulate wallet in the Damier Abine. So I'm going to just pop that here in the back. As you can see, it does take up majority of the room, but I'm going to see what else can fit in here. I have my compact, which fits nicely there. I have a perfume, and this is the uh, Dahlia Devine by Givenchy. And I'm going to pop that here in the side. I have a lip gloss, and this is by Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to pop that right next to it there. I have my business card holder and the Damier Abine. I'm gonna pop that there. I have a lip liner by MAC in the color Bittersweet. So that's just gonna go straight in the bottom there. I have my external battery, which I always keep on me whether I'm traveling or not. Just because I work remote, I'm constantly on the go, so I want my phone always charged. So this is going to go right here behind my business card holder. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what it's looking like so far. So it looks like I still have some room there. I have my hand sanitizer, which probably can pop right there in the front. And I have my little uh, Louis Vuitton pouch that the locket for my bag came in, but I keep my phone charger cable in there. So I'm gonna pop that there in the front. And then as for my sunnies, I have my Ted Baker sunnies in this gorgeous kind of rose gold or pink, you know, hardware. So I'm gonna pop that there on the front. And as you can see, it's pretty full. Um, I might be able to fit my phone in here let's see okay so I have my iPhone 7 plus and if I put it in here it will stretch the bag as you can see um, so that might not be something that I keep in my bag maybe just carrying in my hand or in my back pocket or something so all of that fits nicely in here nothing is really stretched on the top um, the base does not slouch which I really like about this bag and nothing is really stretched so if I do want to fit my phone in there then I might want to consider um, maybe taking out my insulate wallet. So if I remove my insulate wallet and maybe go with my Louis Vuitton Kiss Lock, then I think I'll have plenty of room for my iPhone. So I'll pop that there. Maybe just shift a couple things around and then pop my sunnies on the top and then everything fits nicely. So just to go over that again, I have my Ted Baker Sunnies. I have my Louis Vuitton Kiss Lock wallet in this gorgeous epi leather to match the bag. I have my iPhone 7 Plus. I have my external battery. I have my um, iPhone charger cable for my external battery. I have my business card holder. I have my Chanel Compact. I have a perfume, a lip gloss, a lip liner, and my hand sanitizer. So those are some of the items that can fit in this. Now if I wanted to go with my insulate wallet, then I would either have to get rid of maybe my business card holder or um, my iPhone external battery or not keep my iPhone in my handbag. Those are just a few of the items that I can fit in here successfully. So let's go through and do a few mod shots so you can see how the bag wears on.
for today's video. I hope I was able to answer all your initial questions when it came to this Gucci Marmont leather shoulder bag. If you guys want to know anything about the products that I showcase in this video or any specific questions about this handbag in particular, go ahead and shoot me a comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.